okay so if you recall we were solving the profit maximization problem and uh, we have divided the problem into uh, you know uh, two parts okay one is uh, solving the cost minimization problem and then the other part is solving the profit maximization problem okay once we have recovered the cost function then we can just solve the profit maximization problem as a function of one variable okay so basically we just need to uh, maximize profit with just respect to one variable now okay and that's why okay uh, so uh, so we are now interested in solving for supply function and once we get the supply function we can just plug them back into the conditional labor capital demands that we have got by solving the cost minimization problem to get the final labor demand and capital demand is that okay so they will no longer be conditional uh, labor capital demands um, uh, because now we know the optimal supply so we can plug them back okay into the conditional labor and capital demand to get the final labor and capital demand is this clear to everyone okay so let's uh, solve a profit maximization problem let's say for this particular case first okay and then we'll do it for these two cases as well so this is basically the crs case okay so it turns out solving this problem will be similar to solving this one so i leave these three as homework so you can try these three on your own okay so what i'm going to do is i'll solve these three okay so let's do that uh, so what is the profit maximization problem maximize with respect to y p times y minus so i don't have to write that cost minimization again i know the cost function so i can simply replace that here is that clear okay do you agree this is the profit maximization problem and you are choosing y here okay now let's plot so p is given w is given r is given so if p is given w is given r is given you can plot both the revenue function and the cost function we have already seen how to plot the revenue function so how do you plot the uh, sorry we have already seen how to plot the cost function so how do you plot the revenue function anybody exactly it's a straight line upward sloping with slope p passing through the origin okay so this is the cost okay revenue is also going to be a straight line okay so obviously it will depend on whose slope is greater so let's consider the case where p is greater than 2 root wr in this case revenue line will be like this right okay now what is the difference between revenue minus cost at this level of output what is the difference called it's a profit right now you want to maximize this difference so what do you think will be your choice of output if you want to maximize this difference exactly there is no finite solution to this problem is that okay there is no finite solution to this problem because this difference will keep on increasing as you keep going to the right okay so you're going to say that either so if you want to write the solution you can just say that there is no finite solution or you can write infinity okay whichever way you like or if you want to write it as set of solutions then you can write an empty set okay because there is no finite solution so you can say that set of solutions is an empty set okay this is the case if p is greater than 2 root wr is this fine okay now let's look at the other case case 2 okay case 2 is this is case 1 the other possibility is p is equal to 2 root wr okay in this case what do you think is the solution 
the revenue and the cost will coincide okay revenue and cost will coincide so you get zero profit at all levels so what is profit maximizing everything everything gives you zero profit so everything maximizes profit so you're going to say it's r plus any non-negative output maximizes the profit is that clear okay case three is p is less than two root wr okay what happens in this case So what is profit maximizing? Zero, is that okay? Zero output is profit maximizing. Is this clear to everyone? Okay, so you're gonna get a set that contains only one element, zero. And this is a case if P is less than two root WR. So set of solutions is an empty set. If P is greater than two root WR, it's R plus if P is equal to two root WR is a set containing zero if P is less than two root WR. Okay, uh, so please note that if you do the similar problem here, uh, you know, two root WR will be replaced by W plus R. Okay, so it will be exactly the same. The solution will behave in exactly the same way. It's just that, now you're going to replace two root wr by w plus r you can check that i would recommend that plot these three graphs there is no harm in redoing the exercise it is just going to make sure that you understand what is going on okay okay so the next is increasing returns to scale case now you want to maximize with respect to y p times y minus two root wr times root y okay fine you want to maximize this so it's not a bad idea to plot this problem okay and then let me plot the revenue so how is the revenue function going to look and what about the cost function we have already seen that cost function looks like this okay so it will look like this so what do you think where is the profit maximum if you just you know equate the slopes you will end up choosing this point okay because this is the point where the slope of the tangent is exactly equal to the slope of the revenue and notice that this is where loss is maximum because here cost is bigger than the revenue is that okay so in in case of increasing returns to scale please don't do that Okay, please don't equate the slopes. You will get a loss maximizing output. Okay, which uh, obviously is not the objective. Okay, so you can see that beyond this point, profit starts increasing. Okay, and this distance will keep on increasing. Yes or no? Again, there is no solution to this problem. Okay, so when there is increasing returns to scale, there is no solution to the profit maximization problem. Okay, now I have just explained it, you know, without taking into account, you know, a lot of slope considerations right now. Uh, the only thing is that I'm just giving you a picture, okay, to explain you this. In the next class, I'll give you the, you know, a perfect approach, which is marginal revenue, marginal cost approach okay which will clearly tell you that the profits are going to you know increase uh, again it's a graphical approach but i would say it's much better okay than looking at revenue and cost okay so we'll redo these problems using marginal revenue marginal cost approach so what do you mean by marginal revenue marginal revenue is nothing but the derivative of the revenue with respect to y 
and what is marginal cost marginal cost is nothing but the derivative of cost with respect to y so when you add the word marginal you are talking about derivative okay so if it is marginal cost you are taking the derivative of cost with respect to y if it is marginal revenue you are taking the derivative of revenue with respect to y similarly if it is marginal utility of x you are taking the derivative of utility with respect to x if it is marginal product of labor then you are taking the derivative of production function with respect to labor okay is that fine okay now let's do the last problem again we'll do this using uh, the total revenue and total cost approach but we'll also come back and do these problems using marginal revenue marginal cost approach okay so what are you doing in case of decreasing returns to scale you have this cost function okay py minus 2 root wr into y square okay so notice that in this case uh, the cost function will look like this okay and the revenue function looks like this now notice that in this case you don't want to go beyond this point because now cost is more than the revenue so you would like to choose the point in this region that maximizes the profit and that point is the one where the slope of the cost function is exactly same as the slope of the revenue function that's where the distance will be maximum is that clear okay so it won't i mean if it doesn't make a lot of sense right now when we'll talk about the marginal revenue margin cost approach this will be more clearer okay so right now we are just going to equate the derivatives of the revenue function with the derivative of the cost function to find the optimal solution so what is the derivative of the uh, revenue function it is price you equate it to the derivative of cost function with respect to output which is what four times root w r y right so what is the supply in this case so supply is y s p w r equal to p divided by 4 root w r is this clear so that's the supply function is this okay so in this case we just equated the slopes to get the point where this distance is maximum okay let me uh, let me also why in case of uh, increasing returns to scale you see no solution why in case of constant returns to scale you see sometimes this sometimes this and sometimes this and why in case of decreasing returns to scale you see uh, that there is okay so let me first tell you about increasing returns to scale so really if you really think about it increasing returns to scale tells you that if you double your input your output more than doubles so what that means is what that means is that if you are facing a fixed price per unit for a product then you know you can actually get a lot of benefit if you scale up your production because you are not losing any term anything the price you are all getting the same price for the product no matter no matter how much you want to sell because it's a fixed price right you are a price taker you can decide how much you want to sell if so it pays for you to scale up your production because scaling up your production leads to lot of reduction in cost because doubling the input more than doubles your output so if you double it further it will make it even more exponentially bigger you know so your output gets bigger and bigger with lesser amount of labor and capital okay and therefore your cost will be significantly lower than the revenue at a certain point so and there is no end to it okay so you would want to scale up your production as much as possible okay and that's why there is no finite solution in case of increasing returns to scale technology is that clear okay 
and in case of decreasing returns to scale technology that doesn't happen scaling up the production leads to higher levels of cost and that also explains this cost function okay so if you see for decreasing for increasing returns to scale cost is actually you know uh, for additional unit of output the cost is getting lower and lower okay right the slope of the cost function is falling yes but for decreasing returns to scale technology the slope of the cost function is rising so that means you know you just need to figure out at what output uh, your profit is maximum okay and that will happen you know at some point where uh, the distance between the revenue and the cost is maximum and that's a point where the slope of the revenue curve is equal to the slope of the cost function because beyond this point you know your cost ex escalates at a faster rate compared to the revenue and you will end up losing if you go down this path okay is that fine so that's what happens in decreasing returns to scale with constant returns to scale the story is very simple you know if your price is greater than the marginal cost or in this case you know if price is greater than 2 root wr uh, you can just scale up your production because per unit uh, you know price that you are getting is p and the per unit cost that you are incurring is 2 root wr and if there is a difference between them you know you can just keep on keep on increasing your output and you will keep on making more and more money okay so in this situation there is no solution and if it turns out that per unit price is always equal to the per unit cost then in that case no matter what you do you make zero profit so basically you can do anything and that's why everything is a solution okay and if p is less than 2 root wr you know the price per unit is what you're going to compare with again the cost per unit and it turns out that the cost per unit is more than the price so clearly uh, you are not going to produce anything because every additional unit you incur more than what you get so you will stop at zero Make sense okay 